This week we released the Easy Vertex Anim Unreal 5 plugin on Fab, uh, so you can download it and uh, use it. And we also made this cool animated logo for it. So in this video I will show you like all this stuff and then I will also show you quickly how to make this logo very fast using uh, Inkscape, Blender and uh, is a vertex anim in Unreal 5. So first of all, the plugin is available on Fab, the new Epic Marketplace. And then uh, you can search it as is a vertex anim here, or you can uh, use the link in this video. And uh, here you have the plugin. You can select the license and buy it. Then uh, there are the various tutorials. We'll be adding some more. And there is an example project that is available on Discord. So basically the example project right now is all those examples here, as which you, you already seen in the, in the previous videos. And I added the, the clock example and then this example. And I will be adding more examples and the more videos to explain them. To have access to the examples project, you need to join our Discord. Here, there is the link. And when you, you arrive on the Discord, you have to send uh, us the transaction ID from Fab by private message and then we give you the access to the to the to the Eva private channel support channel and in the pinet message there is the download link that you can use and uh, yeah that's it so very easy don't hesitate to join the discord the project is still in development, so we plan to add new features and create new demos, new examples. And I think that would be very cool if people uh, join the Discord, uh, not only for the support, but also to provide uh, some feedback and like uh, said which feature they want to, to have in the plugin and which maybe example they, they want to see etc so that would be very cool and important for us to have this kind of feedback now i will very quickly show you how i created this logo it's very easy so first we use it a program called inkscape which is open source free program to to create the logo it's a, a program to create vector graphics so just you have those this uh, circle some text here and those objects are circles with text which is subtracted from the circles that give you some vector shapes and then i export this as svg next step i will import this svg in blender and then in blender i will scale it a little bit then i will select those pieces which are actually still curves from svg and uh, uh, extrude them a little bit. Then I will convert those curves to mesh. And finally export everything as FBX. Back to Unreal, we will take our FBX and import it. Then we have our logo and a material. So we will start by transforming the material to use material attributes and then add make material attributes node and material attributes layers. And here we will put the pass through material layer. You can check previous videos to more in detail explanation of all the steps. Now we can start to animate our logo. We'll put it here. 
Oh, it's a little bit huge. Let's reduce it like this. We will from the start increment the bounce. You can also see the previous videos why we are doing this. And then we go into the modeling mode. If a plugin and we start it. So we need to add a UV channel. And that's it. We have it here. So right now you can see if you click anywhere, it's just one big part. We have to split it. But first let's add the V channel. V channel one. Create new V channel. Yes. Okay. And now we can go to operation. We want to split it in parts. So each part will rotate independently. Here we use split mesh operation. And we check this weld edges checkbox because otherwise each like a side a face of each letter will will create its own polygroup. So we we want to merge the, the letters together. And that's it. We click run. Uh, it will say that polygroups will be created from connected triangles, etc. You can also do that by hand in the modeling tools here. Okay. And you see we have nice colored mesh split in polygroups, which is polygroup. It's having its own vertex, its own pivot, I mean. Then we will take the rotate animation, which, which is included with the plugin. And uh, so here we can still, we can already see how it works. Already something is working. There is maybe a little problem to fix. So this A, we want to rotate together. We don't want this part to rotate independently. So we will go here, merge selection, and we will not reset the pivot. We will keep the pivot like it is in the center of the circle. Now it's just one part. It rotates like one part. Pretty cool. Same here. Selecting two of them by shift clicking and then run. Okay, now our parts are rotating independently. Okay, cool. We can actually click to accept. And here we have our material instances and textures, etc. stuff created. We can put the material instance on the mesh and it will be animated. So now if we want to change something, we go select it, go back, everything is recognized. Then for example, I want this letter rotating differently like this. So I rotate its pivot, those two. And now if I preview, they are rotating like this. Or maybe I don't like it. Okay. So now let's say I want to change it. I, for example, want those three letters to orbit around the center. In this case, I will take the pivot here, which is the center, rotate it, press Ctrl C to copy it. I will just rotate it back. And then I will paste the pivot here, here, and here. And if we play, now the letters orbit like this. And uh, if I'm not happy with this, I can always undo by pressing Ctrl Z. I undo the last one and then it will rotate like that. And if I want, I can also redo. 
when I'm happy, I can go and accept. And here we have our animation. You can see it's pretty easy. So thank you very much for watching this quick tutorial and this quick video. You find the download link in the description of this video and see you soon on this channel for other tutorials and I hope to on Discord.